Good morning. Uh, this wonderful Wednesday morning, we look at Psalm chapter 14. I'm going to read um, together with you 1 through 3. The fool says in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. Their deeds are vile. There is no one who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. All have turned away. All have become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. very first thing that sticks in my mind is the very first part of verse 1. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. Have you ever, I'm sure you have, but remember when the first time or um, maybe it was a grandchild, the first time that you looked into the face of a newborn. What about around Easter time? Um, I remember the Christians, uh, maybe a couple years, got baby chicks for uh, Easter, and looking at those baby chickens, you know the the uh, uh, what are they? Easter lilies. Um, how beautiful the Easter lilies are! Right now, everything's blooming. Um, the birds are singing, the animals are, are running around, kids are running around in the neighborhood. How can people look at creation, the face of a newborn, Easter lilies, the beauty, the baby chicks, the baby rabbits, the, the children playing in the neighborhood, everything growing green and, and blooming. How can people look at those things and not realize that there is a God. It's not Mother Nature. It's God. Father Nature, if you would. The only the fool will say in his heart, there is no God. We look around and we behold the beauty of creation. How can people not realize that there is a God? Only a fool will say, there is no God. But we know there is a God. He's alive and well. He's in heaven. Jesus Christ the Son, the Holy Spirit, residing in each of us, empowering us, um, spurring us on to good deeds. Now, you know, I don't know the heart of this particular psalm. Uh, it says, for the director of music of David. So if David wrote the psalm, I don't know what was in his heart at the time he wrote it. I didn't do any background study. But maybe in his time, he felt like there was no one who was doing any good. But we do know today that people do do good things. Um, people in the church, your neighbors, your family members. So there is good. Um, but of course, nothing in us is good in and of itself. It's all Holy Spirit empowered. The Holy Spirit works. The Holy Spirit um, is the one doing the good things through us. All glory to God. Um, well, I love y'all, and I hope that that in some way encourages you today. Again, these are unscripted. I don't do any background study to know what the particular application within the context was, but I do know how to apply it today. There is God, and there is good. Not in and of ourselves, but good because God has put it there through the Holy Spirit. Be encouraged through that today. Look for ways today um, to do good things. Speak good words. Have good conversations. Um, however, that looks for you during these days. Well, let's pray together. Father, we thank you for the beauty of today. We do know that you are real. We do know that you exist. We know God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Those are real in our lives. And I just pray, Lord, that mo more people will realize that. Even as we look on the different media that we have, we see violence, we see meanness, we see violence. We know that you're still sovereign. We know that you're still in control. We trust your plan. We may not understand it fully, but we trust it. We lean, in, we lean into that. We lean into the promises of your word, that this is just a, a moment in our lives, that our future is truly heavenward. Thank you for that hope and future we have. Lord, again, use us today for your glory. 
May you receive all praise and glory from any good that is in us by the Holy Spirit. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We exalt and magnify your name. Thank you for forgiving us of our sins. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Well, I hope that y'all get on board tonight with our Wednesday evening Bible study. We're in part two of um, conversations through the Beatitudes. We're looking at one Beatitude a week. Um, tomorrow, uh, today, tonight, <laughs> get my days mixed up. Tonight is Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. Um, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's what we'll be looking at tonight. That's what we'll be analyzing word for word almost and trying to get all of the wisdom and knowledge that we can out of that verse. It, it's going to be great. I look forward to, to meeting you there. Well, love y'all. Have a great day.